Going over to Sun Dodgers is always exciting because we have you know a large number of our athletes are from the west side of the state and so it's a great opportunity for their parents and, and maybe high school teammates or coaches and friends um, to all get to see them you know like otherwise they'd have to travel a little ways to catch some of their other meets but this is a great opportunity for them and they've been here now especially for freshmen they've you know been on campus now for a few weeks and so it's their first opportunity in a lot of cases to see their families since they've left uh, left home. So um, it's, it's a great meet for those purposes. But then on the competitive side, it's it's a really good meet too because um, you know certainly University of Washington has an excellent team. You know their women are ranked uh, top four for the last you know number of years. I think they might be second this year at the moment. Um, so you know our girls are racing you know one of the better teams in the country as well as the other teams that are there uh, are also really high quality. It's a really fast course, um, you know, for a lot of athletes, this might be their, the fastest time they run all year. Not that they're not getting stronger and faster throughout the year, but it's just such a fast course. Um, it's hard packed, you know, a firm footing. So uh, it just lends itself to fast races, you know, and, and same is true on, on the men's side, you know, high quality teams, um, you know, all the way throughout. Usually Portland State is there, and so it's an opportunity for us also to see um, at least one other conference school, which is a lot of fun as well, before we head over to Bozeman a week later. You know, we're going to leave home uh, a number of our athletes this weekend to let them rest up for Bozeman a week later. And so it'll be a really neat opportunity for some of our other athletes to step up, take some leadership roles. Um, you know, certainly we have some underclassmen that uh, this will give them another chance to race and get their feet wet and, and just get that experience that they need. Uh, as they progress throughout not only this season but throughout their collegiate career you know so but I look for girls like Katie Aragoni to really step up and take that leadership role you know uh, you know not just in terms of how she places but in terms of leading the team as a whole uh, you know I think Katie Lynch is gonna have a, a great race um, you know and, and certainly a lot of others that are from over there I think will step up you know in front of their uh, friends and family you know I think like a, a Michaela Chuka for example um, you know, and Amber Core, I think is going to have a great race and, and on down the line, you know, on, on the men's side, we have, uh, you know, I think Stephen Kutren well last weekend, or not last weekend, but our last race at Mead, and I think he'll continue to improve. Um, I'm excited to see how some of our unattached athletes do, um, you know, for example, uh, like a David Thor, Austin Osier, um, Nick Taylor, assuming he's, he's healthy enough, will be in uniform, so excited to see how he does. Quinn Olivas has been putting in uh, really good workouts and, and really stepping up his, his game, so uh, it'll be a good opportunity for him as well.